Welcome to part 80 of Maryland's Pokemon Diamond Adventure. Now before you get too close to that guy at the door, you want to make sure you have your team of Pokemon all set and ready, all healed, all with the items that you want them to have, because you're going to have one more battle before you go in and fight the Elite Four. Who could that be? Well, you're going to find out shortly. Um, so I'm going to give the Razor Claw to checkmate, because the Razor Claw plus uh, attack order is already high critical hit rate. That's pretty nice. And this smoke ball won't do too much good in a trainer battle, so let's take it out for the uh, shell ball. Alright, so there's Barry. He's all like, you're challenging the Pokemon League too, huh? So he's going to see who's more worthy by challenging you to a battle. So alright, let's take Barry on. What do you say? Challenged by Pokemon trainer Barry. Now his first Pokemon that he sends out is a Star Raptor, so uh, that means that Whatever you send out first will have its attack stat lowered. So using a Pokemon, or sending out a Pokemon with a low attack that uses like special attack and stuff, sending that out first is a good idea. Now, uh, I'm choosing Psych here because I have a uh, hidden power, and that's electric, even though I guess Psychic would probably still be more effective. I'll save it for something else. Um, yeah, I probably just should have done that. Oh well. Now, Staraptor is kind of a pain because it has close combat. Now, fortunately, Psych is resistant, but it still did a pretty hefty chunk of damage. But it also weakens Staraptor's defense and special defense, so after it uses it, you know, that's good. Just make sure you don't send anything weak to uh, fighting out against it. It has a lot of high damage attacks, too, so... Preferably something that can take a hit. Psych probably wasn't even a good choice, but oh well. It got the job done. Alright, so next up comes uh, Barry's Heracross. Now actually the order that he sends out his Pokemon will really depend on who you have out at the time. So this uh, Heracross is probably going to think it's going to Mega Horn me, which would definitely knock out Psych. I mean, you know, w without a doubt. So I'm going to hit it with Psych. And it lives by w like one hit point. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Oh. Well, this Night Slash is going to be super effective, so... Psych's gone. No problem. Now, the worst part about this is... Barry's undoubtedly going to use something like a, a Hyper Potion or a Full Restore on Heracross. So that means all this damage I just did, that beautiful hit, is all for nothing. Oh, wow. Never mind. I guess Barry was feeling overly generous, or maybe he doesn't use Hyper Potions and stuff. Maybe he's not cheap! Like the rest of the trainers in the world. Barry, you know what? Maybe I just gained a whole lot more respect for you. A whole lot more. Alright, so putting that respect aside for a moment, he's sending out Empoleon. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, great, this thing's a water type. It's going to really drench Maryland. Well, I've also got close combat, a really strong fighting type move. Empoleon's part, Steel. And since Steel's weak to fighting, and close combat's like really powerful anyway... Uh, oh, wow. Napoleon's got a lot of defense or something. Well, either that or it could just be the level difference for that matter. I mean, I'm still only level 45. I can only do so much damage. The point is, it took out a big chunk of, uh... Man, that hurt. Whew. Okay. So, Barry's giving me a little run for my money here. No worries. We'll give Astro a chance. Why? Because I've got Mud Bomb. And Ground-type attacks are also very effective against, uh, against Steel. So that's a good thing. Now that Aerial Ace was a pretty big mistake on Empoleon's part, but I guess... Yeah, it was still a mistake. So Astro effectively handled that Empoleon. Now also, if, um, he's only using Empoleon if you started with, uh, uh, Chimchar, like I did. If you started with Turtwig, he'll be using an Infernape. If you started with, uh, uh, Piplup, he'll be using a Torterra. Just so you know. But you can still probably apply the general strategies. The only downside is, uh, Infernape. If he's using an Infernape, keep in mind it's fast. And it hits pretty hard, so... Just be wary of that. Now, here's his Roserade, which he might not have if he has a Torterra on his team. 
Or he, yeah, he definitely won't have if he has a Torterra on his team. What am I talking about? So I'm going to send out a checkmate. Now, unfortunately, attack order isn't going to be super effective, I don't think, because it's part poison. But it still does a nice amount of damage, and I should be resistant. Ooh, except for poison. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah, poison isn't effective against bug. My bad. All right, sweet. So we'll just take this thing out. Ah, and again, one hit point left. What is up with that? Whoa! What's with this witchery? Okay, so he's got a Rapidash now, eh? Um, he won't use Rapidash if he uh, has an Infernape in his team. Yeah, that's right. He won't use Rapidash if he's got an Infernape. He won't use Roserade if he's got a Torterra. And if, uh... If he's not, if he doesn't have Empoleon, he'll have a Floatzel instead of one of those three. So between them all, yeah, you, you get the picture. It's that whole, well, I'm going to do these three type things. So, okay, let's see. Rapidash has this bounce thing, which is probably the least of my concerns. It didn't do that much, really. But it's annoying because it's like a fly. You know, it, it makes it so, uh, you're immune to damage for like a whole turn. But it does give you a chance to decide what you want to do. Not like the computers aren't too predictable. Well, okay, so that thing's gone. Now, this Roserade has, like, one hit point left, if I recall correctly, so whatever I send out will get the free win on it. So we'll let Checkmate finish her job on this. Don't leave any victims. All right, so... I'll just hit it with, uh, I think I used the rock one. Ow. Oh no, I did set a waste in TP on attack order, huh. Oh well, who cares, there's a Pokemon Center, like, right next door. Like, just a few steps away from me, as a matter of fact. So... The last Pokemon he's sending out for me, at least, is Snorlax. Now, he'll have Snorlax regardless of what he started with. And it, it's, it has a lot of defense, and a lot of hit points, and a lot of attack. And it's, well, maybe not that much defense, but it just, it's kind of bulky. Not to mention it's overly round. I have no reason to freak out. No reason at all, eh? Well, Gojira, give him a reason to freak out! Strength! Ugh. Grr. That didn't do too much. Ow! Ooh, man, this is gonna hurt. Didn't see that coming, that darn earthquake. What a pain! Ah, well, that's, uh... That's just great. <laughs> Okay, so checkmate, do your stuff. Let's see. I'm running out of Pokemon, so I'd better heal something. There, I think I just revived someone. Probably Maryland. <laughs> Okay, let's use some more potions. Except this time on Checkmate. And yeah, I know I have Heal Order, but I don't want to risk uh, being outsped by that Snorlax, of all things. And it's just going to hit... Oh, wow. That's going to be fun. Trying to take that thing down when it's using Rest. Well, fortunately, though, that gives me a good opportunity to switch, since it's going to be asleep no matter what. So, let's send out... Maryland. And give this thing a few close combats, eh? Or Brick Break. Yeah, I'll just see how much that does. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and I know why I use Brick Break come to think of it. That was because, uh... I don't know, just in case it, like, used Sleep Talk or something. 
because I knew that close combat would do like almost double, so as long as Brick Break did enough, I'd be fine. And then I don't have that, uh, that, that, that stat down stuff to worry about. Okay, so that is Barry, and he's no longer a threat to us. And he loses. What just went down? My team still means right. Yeah, get out of there, buddy. Go away. Go away. You you didn't do. You know you're not ready for the Pokemon League if you lost to me. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. Just keep telling yourself that, bud. Keep telling yourself that. 